to download our programme, simply go to our website at ccpn.ac.uk and then either click on the download our software button or go to the software menu and select downloads. This should always take you to our latest version of the software. Here you can download either the command line installation version for Mac or three different flavours of Linux. Once you've downloaded your file, open a terminal and I'm now going to go to the directory where I want to install the uh, program. I'm now going to move my file from my downloads folder to this folder. And you can see here it is. I'm just going to unzip it with unzip. Uh, this may take a little while. If you prefer, obviously you could do these steps in a file browser as well. You can see that after unpacking I now have a new directory here called ccpnmr 3.10. If you're using one of the newer Mac OS's, so Catalina, Big Sur or Monterey, you will have to remove the executables from quarantine before you can start using them. This is because we don't yet have an official Apple developer license. You can do this by typing the following line which we also provide on the download page. You'll then be asked for your password. Don't worry if you get this error and then you should be good to go. Simply go into your ccpnmr 3.1 directory and then you will see there is a bin directory. This now lists a variety of programs that you can open. So obviously our standard program would be assign, which you can open in this way with dot slash assign. But we also have available screen, structure, and metabolomics. In addition, there is chem build, and we also have this update program, which will apply updates directly from the update server without actually opening the program. And that can sometimes be quite useful. In addition, we've also got the four main programs listed as analysis assign, analysis metabolomics, analysis screen, and analysis structure. That can be useful for people who want to add uh, this path to their main path and find that they have name clashes with things such as screen or structure or assign because those might also be the names of other programs that you already have installed on your computer. So by typing dot slash assign, you can open the program. The first time you open it, it will take a little bit longer than usual because all the fonts need to be built. But after that, it should be much quicker. When you first open the program, you may well be asked to install updates. Please do this. And then close and exit and restart. It is worth pointing out that we recommend that you save your project on a local disk. That means local to where the program is installed and where it's running. That's because Analysis regularly writes to your project files and is currently not set up to deal with temporary breaks in the connection. So if you're writing to a remote disk, you could end up with your project being in a compromised state, uh, making it unreadable at a later stage. However, for your Spectrum files, which after all are what usually take up a lot of disk space, are on a remote disk or server, then that is fine. Analysis only has to read these files, so there shouldn't be any issues.